All right, so let's see how much the computer bodied me. <laughs> wow, I'm actually in disgust. Um, that sounds so much better than mine. Hey, what's up? This is Max from Splice, and today I'm gonna be doing a mix speed run using Neutron 4's Mix Assistant. In case you aren't familiar with it already, there is an intelligent mixing feature called the Mix Assistant that's available in Neutron 4. Um, what it does is listen to audio that you play it, and then it comes up with custom processing based on the audio that it receives, um, and it sounds really nice. So you can use it on all kinds of different instruments. I'm gonna use it on four of my stems here. So I have a low end group, drums, synths, and vocals. I'm gonna use an instance of Neutron on each of those. I'm gonna run that group processing. Uh, I'm going to use the Neutron Visual Mixer and use the Mix Assistant inside there to balance everything out. And then I'm going to use Ozone 9's Master Assistant to completely finish the entire project for me. Um, and we're gonna see how fast I can do that using those tools. So I think, I don't know what the previous world record is uh, for fastest mix, but hopefully we're gonna hit it today. So once I stop the timer, I'm gonna go back in and look at the uh, processing that is being done by each module, see if it makes sense, see if it's choices I would have made, and maybe I can even learn something from that. The song that I have today is a song called Chicken by Thug Pop. I wanna say a big thank you um, to Thug Pop from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to use this song in this video. Let's start the timer and get to it. Counting down from three, two, one, go. Okay, add Neutron here. Let's get it playing and get it learning, great. So this is my low end group. This is gonna be my bass and kick. I really like that body that it kind of put on there. The kick sounds a little bit like more body, more like noise at the end. Okay, moving on to the drums. Ah, I put in the wrong one. Okay, there's the drums. Now let's get it learning. Probably lost a couple of seconds there. Shame. gonna go ahead and add that next one while I'm doing it so I don't mess that up again. <laughs> okay, going for the synths now. Awesome. And now the vocals. Okay. Awesome. So now we have Neutron suggestions for all our group processing. We're going to add the visual mixer to the master track and let it play. Oh, sorry, not really a play. We're gonna use assist on all of these and focus there, great. Oh, whoops, from the beginning, sorry. Okay, stop, go to results. Great, we'll accept this for now and we'll go do it later. So the mix system probably made it a lot lower. Okay, so it's balanced it and made the overall um, level a lot lower. So we add ozone and now we will allow ozone to finish this off. Let's do it from 
there. Actually, from here is fine since that's where I was working earlier. Master Assistant. We're going to go to a reference. Um, oh, I can't click and drag. All right, never mind. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that is fine. Different reference, but whatever, who cares? <laughs> All right, next. And we can play the audio. Damn, okay, that sounds crazy. And let's stop the timer. Okay, so uh, to run all the assistants, uh, that clocked in at 437. So that is pretty impressive. That's an entire mix in 4 minutes 37 seconds. And let's see how it sounds. I mean, I think it sounds really great somehow. I'm going to listen to it from the start. And then we're going to listen to, uh, maybe not all the way from the start, but then we're going to compare it to my uh, rough mix and see how much better or worse it might be. All right, I'm going to pull up a loudness meter as well. This isn't actually making any effect on the sound. It's just so I can see. All right, so let's see how much the computer bodied me. <laughs> uh, here's my rough. Wow, I'm actually in disgust. Um, that sounds so much better than mine. Now, I will note that that is just a rough mix. So like, okay, that's not my full mixed version, but oh my God, like the the way this sounds so clear. Yeah, and Ozone's got it pretty nice and loud as well. Let's just take a quick look at what exactly processing is being applied. So on the low end group here, yeah, we've got some sculpting going on. Looks like the computer didn't like something around the 300 hertz range, so that's interesting. And I love how this EQ here um, kind of brings out the like finger sound of the like plucked bass. I don't know if that's actually an electric bass or what, but or it could be a synth, but with with just an attack. But either way, I love what the. Uh, sound that this EQ brings out. So props computer A little bit of light compression Okay, and we got some excitation sure that makes sense. I love that they put trash in um, Like built into new trunks. I love this plugin but The computer chose to, chose to go with the classic excitation here, and I think it sounds great So you know what I accept this suggestion. That was a great suggestion. Uh, let's go to the drums. We have some sculpting going on. Looks like some EQ. Okay. Yeah, again, not much on that compressor. Oh my god, has my cat been trying to get out this entire time? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, so I accept the drum suggestion too. That sounds, sounds awesome. What are we doing to our synths? <laughs> Love this dynamic EQ here. Um, like now that I see that the computer identified it, I hear it as a problem, but there's like a little attack um, on the synth that's a little bit noisy. Maybe it's like part of the key, like, like the synth keys patch or something. Um, so I think this is really good to knock that out. And again, I mean, we have not much going on there and just a tiny bit of compression. So really, there's not all that much happening here except for some EQ. Shows you how powerful EQ can really be. Now on the vocals. Neutron really gets rid of a lot of the like lows and mids. 
Yeah, okay. Big and me, chicken get, chicken get, chicken, 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 and get chicken to my body, body. So the computer wanted to boost this little band, which I find really fascinating. And this band is what it wanted to get rid of. So actually, it wasn't the fricative at all. It was like this, like, uh, that's kind of like where the fundamental is. That's very interesting. I guess it just wanted to tame it and bring it more into line. Okay. Other than that, yeah, it really isn't applying all that much processing. As for Ozone and Visual Mixer, yeah, Visual Mixer didn't do a whole lot in terms of, well, actually it did. Oh my God, yeah, that's minus 6.5. Oh, okay. Wow, so Visual Mixer really actually roasted <laughs> my mix here. Um, it looks like it brought my low end down a lot. It brought my drums down a decent amount. Um, it brought my, what is this, synths down uh, a fair amount and it brought the vocals down just a little bit so that makes sense because we're focusing on the vocals so they're still the loudest and most prominent not a whole lot different happening in terms of panning which makes sense given that these are group buses that we're dealing with now to ozone let's see okay we got some eq here <laughs> I love the dynamic EQ module in Ozone because it finds frequencies that are loud and reduces their peaks, which makes the maximizer uh, more transparent and more effective. So you can uh, put your threshold lower and get a little bit louder without um, clipping or distorting as easily. This EQ is more for balancing. Uh, I guess it gets just kind of wanted me to bring my mids up. Maybe this increases um, the sound of the vocal. And maybe it was a little, you know, airy up in these areas. So, okay, makes sense. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, but I've definitely learned a lot from the computer during this speed run. That was really impressive. I think uh, four minutes and 30 seconds for a mix is definitely a personal record for me, if not a world record. So that was really fun and it was cool to see uh, what the computer did differently that I didn't do. I think a couple things that I can take away from this are that EQ goes a really long way, especially dynamic EQ. Compression is nice, but you don't need to go super overboard with it to the point where it distorts, talking to myself here. Um, and excitation is really great, especially in a multi-band format. That's basically everything that Neutron was doing to most of my stems. So I hope that you really enjoyed this speed run. I certainly did. Um, I loved having my work done for me in like four minutes and 30 seconds. So thank you so much for that, Azitope. Uh, and I also appreciated learning a lot from the decisions that the computer made that I would have missed. So that was really cool too. Um, thanks for watching and see you next time.